News 8 at 5.30 in high definition continues. Well, it's all in the beat. The sounds your heart makes can be an easy way to identify a problem. Earlier, I spoke with Dr. Tim Malins about this. It's in this week's Your Heart and You. Ever wonder what a heart sounds like? Well, everybody does, but I'm sure, Dr. Malins, there's a difference between a normal sounding heart and a heart murmur. What's the difference? So a heart murmur, it's actually probably one of the most common things that I end up getting a referral for, for evaluation or somebody mm -hmm. who has a murmur. And a murmur is just a really kind of simple way of saying that we hear turbulence or there's an abnormal sound. Now, just because it's an abnormal sound in the heart doesn't necessarily mean it's pathologic or there's a disease involved with it. And it's basically, as I said, we're hearing turbulence. And for the most part, uh, it comes from turbulence around the valves. So either the valves or the, or the valves are what keep the, what allow the blood to flow into the heart as well as close to keep any backflow of blood. So it's just a pump that goes through. And sometimes the valves can be narrow and meaning that if you, I always give the analogy of a hose. So you have a hose and you should normally not have a nozzle on it in the heart. It should be just free flowing kind of low flow. But as you put a nozzle on or the, where the valve is, it starts to narrow, you get that sound. So a turbulent flow, like you're squirting the, the nozzle all the way around. You can also get it from an incompetent valve, or what I, what I mean by that is a valve that's recurgent or the, or the blood flows backwards to it. So even though a murmur isn't a normal heartbeat, they can be a normal occurrence. Is that what you're telling us? Yeah, and especially in two populations. So there's two populations where notoriously you have what we call benign or innocent murmurs, and that's in newborns mm -hmm. uh, and children, and that's due to turbulent flow. It's the hemodynamics of the heart, and also the same is true with pregnant women, and it's uh, due to the, the same kind of uh, hemodynamics and turbulent flow that you would see due to kind of increased volume status in women. So this is really important for parents to know of young children and babies, infants, that if your child is diagnosed with a heart murmur, it doesn't mean they have cardiac disease, right? Absolutely, and, and the vast majority of these childhood murmurs with time will resolve. And if they don't, and uh, the pediatrician uh, begins to hear it later on in life, they may order what we've talked about in the past is an echocardiogram mm -hmm. or an ultrasound of the heart where we can definitively look at the valves and look at the flow across them and determine is this a benign murmur, is it an innocent murmur, or is this something that could have some pathology either at present or later down the line. Keep it checked and don't worry. That's right. <laughs> Dr. Malins, thank you very much. Thanks, Worry. See more Your Heart and You segments, head to our website, rochesterhomepage.net, and click on the News tab.